Hello, today I'm going to explain how to restrict status transitions from one status to another. So, you will see that in EPIC I have a restriction from uh, new, it cannot go for EPIC to resolved and closed, for active it cannot be closed directly, from resolved it, ca uh, it cannot go to new, etc., etc. That things I have in features, I have in uh, uh, user stories, and bug, etc., etc. So let me show you how to do that. So, first of all, let's go to our project. And we can see, of course, in boards, in, let's say, backlogs, Okay, if I, know, if I open uh, Epic here, billing, if I open it, I can choose every single status which is available. Okay, but I don't want to do that. So, I will switch here in, here in processes. Okay, so I am on organizational settings and on processes, so if you want to know how to go directly here, organizational settings, okay, and then processes, and then I will, uh, I will uh, choose my process, and I will go to Epic, okay. You, here, in, I will choose rules, and when I choose rules, I will see that I don't have any rules. So, what I'm going to do, I will go to create new one. Let me show you how to do that. So, I will click on new rule, and you will see that I have many conditions here and many actions. But for this purpose, for this video, I will just stick on restricting transitions. So, let's say that I want to restrict transitions from Epic, and I'm here in Epic, for Epic, from state new. So I will say, Epic, I will give a name, Epic state moving restriction from state new. So basically what I'm saying, when the Epic is in state new, it cannot go in which status. I prohibit moving from new to some statuses which I want, and let me now show you show you where do I want this to be prohibited. I want to prohibit EPIC, okay, from new to result and closed, okay? So, let's go here. I will say restrict a, a work item is moved from, okay? So, I will choose when a work item is moved from new, then restrict transition state to resolved and restrict transition state to closed. And I will save it. Okay, it says something. Okay, okay, it picks accounts, it picks account, it picks account. Okay, that's it. Now I am going to create a new rule. So I will say, Epic state, what? Epic state, when it uh, uh, f goes from active, it cannot, so work state is moved from active, I will restrict to closed. Okay? And I will say save. Then, I will say from, let's say, resolved, that it cannot go to new. So I will go, go a new ru rule, and epic moving state for, from resolved, and I will say, okay, uh, when item state is moved from resolved, it cannot be moved to new and save. Then, now I have a, 
uh, rules from new active resolve. Let's see closely removed. So I will say when, okay, new rule, when it is moved from closed, so basically once here, when a work item is moved from closed, okay, it cannot go to new, it cannot go to resolved either, and it cannot go to removed either, okay? So, when work item is moving from closed, it cannot go to new, it cannot go, uh, go to new resolved and removed. Save, now what I have here, come on, save it. Now what I have here, I have new active resolve closed, and let's see from removed, it cannot go to closed, of course. So, new rule, removed. When item is moved from removed, it cannot go to closed. And I will save it. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to our epic. I'm in a new state. Oh, come on. Refresh it. Refresh it. Okay. I'm in a new state now. And you see, I can go to active and to removed. Why? Because from new state, it cannot go to resolve closed, okay? You will see this exactly at the moment when you save the rule. So let's me put it in active and let me save it. Now I can go, go to new, to resolve to removed, but not to closed. Let's go here. I cannot go to closed. Let me now put it in Resolved, and let me save it. I can go from resolved to active, closed, and removed, but not to new. Why? Because it is here. This is the rule. And let me put it now in closed state. Okay. Let me see where can I go. To active. Why? Because you can see when it's closed, it cannot be put to new, new, resolved, and removed. Okay? Now, let me try to put it in removed, but I cannot. But what, what can I do? I can go from closed to active, and I can save it. Now it's in active state, so, and from active state it cannot go to removed, and I will save it. Now, from removed, it can go, goes only to new. Why? Because if I see removed, it cannot go to closed. So what, what if I wanted to put from renew, removed to, to new, and I cannot, uh, uh, and I can do it? I can do it in new. But what if I wanted to put it in active, okay? From Removed, I cannot put it directly to active, but I can go to new and save, and then go to active. Because the rule says that I can put it from new to active. And now back to new, save and close. Now, one thing which is uh, uh, very interesting. Let me go back to my, my Excel. This is for Epic. For Feature, I, has, I have the same rules, okay, the same rules. But, unfortunately, if I want to go to here, sorry, here, and if I want to apply the same, same, uh, same rules to Feature, you will see if I go to Rules, I have to create them again. So it is boring and annoying. What I would like is 
if I can say, okay, rules, but that rule, for example, applies, this rule applies to Epic and to Feature and to User Story. It doesn't. So I'm not going to bothering you about how to do it in Feature, but because this video will take uh, 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 days uh, or hours to make all those restrictions, which I have here, you can see how many do I have them in for user stories. So I am going to do that, but I'm not going to recording it because for this video, you got the, the whole point. The whole point is that for each and every item type, you should go to rule to create rule select a name, give a name, choose a condition when work item state is moved from which, and then you should, uh, uh, you should say, uh, you should choose to which status it cannot go. Okay, so from active, it cannot go to closed. From closed, it cannot go to new result removed. So basically, you are restricting from to. And that is exactly what we want to achieve. So, hope this helps. And from, for next time, I am preparing the new video, which will, say, which will show you work item for control. Until then, have a nice day.